Welcome to Electro Online. Assuming we have a cylindrical resistor, and here we have a drawing of one that has the length L and the radius small r, we can then say that the resistance of that resistor will be proportional to 1 over the radius squared. Why is that? Well, the equation for the resistance is that it's equal to the resistivity of the material times the length of that object divided by the cross-sectional area. And since the cross-sectional area can be written as follows, we can then say that R is equal to the resistivity times the length divided by the cross-sectional area, which would be pi R squared. Or we could say that R is equal to the resistivity times the length divided by pi times R to the minus 2 power. So this is one way in which we can write the resistance as a function of the radius. And since, of course, the radius is in the denominator, the bigger the radius, the smaller the resistance. Now, if you want to come up with an equation that shows us how much the resistance is changing when, for example, the radius is changing, how do we do that? Well, we start again with the derivative. We can find dr dt. Uh, oh, not in this case, dr dt, dr dr. The derivative of the resistance with respect to the radius. So not with respect to time, but with respect to the radius. So that means we're going to take the derivative of our equation right there. We have the three constants. The resistivity is the constant. The length stays the same. And of course, the number pi. And now we take the derivative of that. So we have minus 2 times r to the minus 3 power, because we subtract 1 from the exponent, and then we bring the original exponent out like this, which means that this is equal to minus 2 times the resistivity L over pi times 1 over r cubed. And so that's what we call the change of the resistance with respect to the radius. Now, if we want to come up with an equation that describes how much the resistance is changing when the radius is changing, we can put the dr over here, and then we write it as follows. The change in the resistance will be equal to minus 2 times the, um, let's see here, times rho, that's the resistivity, times the length, divided by pi, times 1 over r cubed, and now we take the dr here, move it over here, and there is now the equation that tells us how much the resistance will change when we have a small change in the radius. Now notice the negative here, which means that when this is a positive quantity, when the radius gets a little bit bigger, we have a smaller resistance because we have a negative sign here. But if the change is negative, in other words, if the, resistance, if the radius is getting smaller and this is a negative quantity, then this negative will cancel out this negative and will have a larger resistance. So it does appear to work. And that's how we deal with derivatives and with differentials. So we can do both. We can see how much it changes with respect to something and we can actually calculate the actual change if you know how big the radius is and how much the radius is changing. And that's how it's done.